we're just going to ask you some questions, uh, you know, and of course, if you could just please answer as best as you can remember. This is all about uh, your story. Okay. And so, in in some ways, it's it's not just about water, but it's about you and and. And the whole Cabbage Town game. There you go. And uh, so, one thing that we have noticed is that there used to be certain types of water sources in the neighborhood mm -hmm. that we visibly can't see any longer. Um, are you familiar with any open water sources that once existed in the neighborhood? No, what I do remember is about when I worked in the mill, they uh, had a river running under it, and I saw it only one time, but I mean, it was way, way down in the ground, and it was running really swift, and uh, I know how the waters down on Powell Street used to rise up uh, when it got to raining real hard, and right here on Brent Avenue, before they built the crowd, bought these houses and built, water would just rise up to the bottom of the porches down on Red Avenue there. And we'll have it set up on uh, brick pillars and it would take days for it to go down. And, uh, but I heard the, uh, my dad tell a story about the uh, gas company I heard next to, uh, behind Rogers' store. It's a guy now, but right back in it was Rogers. And he was, uh, I think Mr. Guthrie lived there on the corner where you got your place at, and him and Dad was out there talking, and the gas company was out there digging for a gas leak, and they dug down so deep there was a, a body had, had washed out from the cemetery over there and come out, uh, and I also heard the people, some of the old folks talking about the uh, water running under the mill, it run up, would run all the way over our, uh, Pipe small and then you down to a little bridge right over there. I don't know how true that is. I've never seen it, but uh, I heard a lot of the old folks say that there's a river running out of the mill and it runs, you know, so. And then the water coming up on power and flood and all that, and the kids play in it, and, and down on Brent Avenue. But that's about all I uh, knew about the, you know, the water situation. And then, uh, too, uh, I guess a good 25 years ago, it would, uh, come a flood and down on the corner where you live at was just it was waist deep then you know and then but that's about all I can tell you about the uh, water situation that I know of. Uh, you do mention uh, that you saw this river yourself at one point. Oh yeah it was yes. Could you yeah please uh, describe that a little bit. Well more. I, 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 like I said they, I, I was up there and, uh, a uh, winder department and the gate I come in right on Boulevard, the main gate right there. And uh, they sent me, uh, I think it over to the weed shop and I'm trying to think where that was, that the plate was off of the, uh, the it was just a square hole there and, uh, and uh, I heard the water just running. And I looked down in and it was, it was pretty, pretty deep down there. I mean, it was just, just roaring. And, uh, Oh, that's a long way down. If I was to fall in there, they never would find me. But, uh, but that, that's about, I think it was back in '55 when I was 17 years old. And uh, but that's that's the only time I've seen it. And I, I can't, for the lack of me, remember what part of the mill it was at. Uh, so if that water was underneath the mill, what do you think? Uh, the water was for. Do you think that? I, I don't know. I wonder where it come, uh, where it started, and where it went. And like I said, the uh, the old the old timers said it. You know, it run slap a all you know on the cabbage town, and cross Morton Avenue down there about right, uh, not too far down from Confederate Avenue on the left there, and there's a little old creek bed down there, and some say it went down there, and some say it just went all over. So I really couldn't say because uh, you know. Just what they told me, but I did, I did see the, the river, the water running under the, of the mill there, really swift and loud. Did you know of anybody using any of the water sources around here? No, not no, not, I, I never heard of nobody. Just uh -huh. okay. Uh, 
Okay. And you touched upon this as well. Do you know where the water was coming from, like the source? No, I never did. Never did. I, I, I didn't hear one say I didn't ask. I just know they, they said it was, what I seen was really running swift and, and hard. And, uh, and people said it come out over on Moreland Avenue, so. Another question, um, there were tunnels, as we've heard, in certain areas of the neighborhood uh, that the mill had been using. Uh, one in particular would cross Boulevard uh, from where the mill is just to the west side of Boulevard. Uh, are you familiar with that tunnel or have you heard about that particular tunnel? No. Okay. I don't know. You're not talking about the underpass. You said a tunnel, like a like a people tunneling for coal or a mold tunnel. Yes, sir. No, I hadn't. No, I haven't heard anything about that. Okay. All right. Um, Nina, can you think of anything to ask? This is all pretty quick. I mean, because this is a very specific interview. Well, I do have. Okay, just. Just to play devil's advocate, really quickly, do you think that, that that water that you heard under the mill, could it have been something that the city of Atlanta was supplying to the neighborhood, or do you think it had to have been a natural? I, no, I'm not thinking things would just be a natural, you know, good Lord put it there, but it's, uh, I've never heard anybody, you know, using the water from that or, or anything. Your brother is <laughs> That's okay. Um, so when you were on the working in the mill, uh -huh. I guess this might be my final question. Um, we've seen on maps that the mill had wells, cisterns, big tanks filled with water. Um, do you are you familiar with those and well, what they how they would fill them and how they might use them? No, I didn't hear about that, but I do know the well. There's a well in this house right down on uh, Carroll Street where Ed lives at backyard. You know what I'm talking about in my backyard? I met uh, right here on the corner of, of Gaskell and Carroll Street. Uh, that used to be Boots and Davis five and ten cent store, and Mom would. Uh, the lady living in that house next to there while I was talking about, I never didn't know her name, but I remember mom carried me down there to visit that lady and the well was right there in the backyard. And when I moved here 31 years ago, you could still see the uh, uh, well where people had filled it up. You don't come up top. I remember the outhouses used to be around here on, you know, but. Well, uh, that's only as well I, I can remember uh, uh, seeing it as a child and all, but. How would people fill those wells? I guess it was just, well, I don't know if, uh, that's a good question, but uh, they had they had the bucket and rope there, right, you know, and uh, just, uh, I guess dip it down. I don't know where the water come from, unless it's coming from that uh, water coming, you know, under the mill. So it's, that's a good question. I hadn't had it. Uh, when did when did y'all have running water in your home? Oh, we uh, I was born thirty eight, and it's, uh, it, uh, we we've always had running water. Of course, had fireplace and wood stoves, you know, but y'all always had running water. Yeah, because sometimes we hear stories that indoor plumbing and water wasn't available until sometime in the mid forties. No where at yeah. Well, it's, uh, like I said, I was born '38, and I, uh, yeah, we uh, our, we've always had running water. See, that's good to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Ronnie. But I don't know if I, uh, you know, help you out in and out, but nothing to hold up in court, I reckon. But <laughs> well. Just like most of Cabotown history, a lot of this isn't written down. A lot of 
I mean, even something that seems so normal as mm. water, like you turn on your tap water and you never even think about where it might be coming from or how long well, it's even been there. So you you, you think the uh, water running in the mill is dried up or? Either, uh, either rerouted or, or dammed somehow. That's interesting. That's uh, because there are very few creeks, I think, still accessible. Yeah. So, but what that means as as to their current condition, you know, because from what we can see in maps, quite often they go underground uh-huh. and then they resurface and right. then they go back underground again, and uh, and that's what we're trying to determine is how much of that was above ground in Cabbage Town, how much was below ground, and whether people in the neighborhood, and especially the mill, tried to tap into those water sources, mm. especially, you know, in the earliest years. Yeah. But, um, but also, yeah, for people in the neighborhood, residents, if, I mean, you had running water, which is you something. Would, yeah. So the yeah. city of Atlanta was supplying you with water by the late 30s or sometime yeah because yeah because uh, i remember it yeah uh, about seven eight years old uh take a bath in a more big old tub that's uh about 4 38 you're yeah, seven eight years old you take a you know take a bath mom give us a bath every night and so we had we had water back in so and um, do you, are you familiar with any swimming pools in the area? No, uh, they would, uh, I almost want to lie. Not, not in Cabbage Town, no. Uh, until it come a flood, you know, and, and like I said, on Powell, and, and uh, especially over on Crock Street, down the other place there, that water dries up. I guess it uh, consider a swimming pool when it rains, but. <laughs> Your lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Almost special lake, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thank you. Anything else you'd like to add? No, that's about all I can remember about Kabaj Town. <laughs> Vegetable Town, all yeah. right. <laughs> thank you, Ronnie. Oh, you're more than welcome. Oh, actually, one. Garbage, garbage Town. Garbage Town. Oh, actually, would you mind one last time repeating your name? Ronald Edwards. Could you please say, like, my name is? Oh, my name is Ronald Edwards, and I live at 604 Gaskell Street. Born and raised down here. Perfect. <laughs> Yay!